Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about this tab a little, little bit. So the other day was Prime Day on Amazon. So uh, being a Prime member, I headed over there and I picked up a few things. And one of the things that I decided to pick up was an Amazon Fire HD. So that's what this is. Now, one of the things you might be saying to yourself, but Joe, you can't run the Fire with the DJI Go 4 app. It's not on the Amazon App Store. And you're 100% right. But as you can see right here, we're running the DJI Go 4 app, and uh, it's connected to my Spark. So how did I manage this magic? Well, I've set up a web page to show you guys how to do this. I'm only going to talk at a high level of how to do it. Uh, in the fact, number one, it can be done. The maps do work. It is connected. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm working the maps here. Uh, the maps do work. Um, I'm connected to Wi-Fi as well as I'm connected to OTG to the controller. So I'm living the best of both worlds right here. So I'm obviously at home, but I could tether this tether tether this to my cell phone um, out in the field, and that's one of the reasons I like it with this cable. Uh, one of the things to note if you do go to join this, and, and I found this pretty common between various uh, both Android and iOS devices, um, what you should do is start the copter, start the controller, let the two bind, uh, start the Go4 application here, and then join it with the uh, OTG cable. And then what will happen is I'll put it up in the corner. There will be a little pop-up that will look like this. and Well, particularly on the uh, Spark. And it's just say, uh, sorry, on the Fire. Where well, there's Spark, there's Fire. Um, but there will be a, a low power notification because of the connection. And then what will happen is it will allow it to connect. On some of the other tablets, it will also pop up and ask you, uh, again, which application do you want to use the OTG with. And again, if this running, it, it, it works better. So just a little OTG tip uh, if you're having troubles with it out there. Uh, but anyways, I want to talk about the Spark a little bit. So how did I do this magic? Well, basically, the way I achieved this magic, and if I get, get to, let me touch the screen here. I want to try to get it to go away. Is uh, if you notice right here, hopefully I'll zoom in on it, uh, you'll notice the Google Play Store. So I've installed the Google Play Store on the Fire. Now, there's a number of tutorials on the internet how to do it. Um, I've picked the easiest way, at least for me, to do it, and I think overall to do it. So I've created a web page. I'll have the link down below. What I suggest doing, and the way I suggest doing it, and that's what I want to talk through for a minute here, and this is also handy too, by the way, folks, even if you just want to put the Google Play Store on your fire and you don't care about using it with your drone uh, same difference here so long story short you need five applications to make all this work and I have this outlined uh, on this web page so one of the key applications is ES File Explorer you'll use ES File Explorer to run the other four Google programs the other, the, well, they're all actually APK files. So an APK is, is nothing more than an Android file. Sort of like in the Windows world, you have EXE. Well, in the Android world, which this is all this is, by the way, is an Android tablet, you have the APK files. And you'll need four of those APK files, which forms the structure that the Google Play Store uses, including the Google Play Store, which is the fourth file. You need to install those files in the order on the website, um, one through four. Now, the, the one piece here is um, doing it from the tablet. In other words, allowing them to download on the tablet to the tablet, I think works better. You know, Now, if you're sort of a novice at this stuff, kind of close your ears, but if you have a little bit of experience, you can also download these same files from this website to your PC, sideload them onto this, and then use ES File Explorer to run them and install them. What I found by doing it that way is you also have, you can potentially have some security problems and, and it might complain for security. So anyways, Long story short, I found the easiest way is just to download these, go to the uh, links, 
download them directly on the fire and run them on the fire and install them on the fire and works perfect um, so anyways like I said I have the link to that down below now I haven't really flown with this I've messed around inside it's been raining for the past couple days I haven't been able to get out I hopefully will we'll get to do this pretty soon uh, I also have the DJI Go app for the uh, Phantom 3 installed. That too also works. I uh, haven't had a problem. I've installed Hover. I've also installed Leechy. Um, so all of them seem to work, at least on the bench, hooking to the various. So I experimented. Again, it's been raining outside with the Spark and the Phantom 3, and all of it seems to work, including the maps. So uh, I, I'm pretty excited about this. And it also appears to be relatively snappy. You know, because the thing is, I picked this tablet up for like 29 bucks on Prime Day. I think they're normally around 40 bucks, 39 bucks, depending if you buy it with specials where it displays ads when it sort of goes to sleep or something like that. But to, to get a, basically a sub $50 tablet that's pretty decent in size. Now, it is a little bit too big to put in the arms of this, both uh, thickness wise. Uh, as well as width wise and also one of the things the power buttons up here so it kind of impacts so I'm using it with these 3d printed if you go back a couple episodes that I did up and it actually works out pretty good and I can you know again get my fingers in here like this and it really is a good feel so I, I'm happy with that and again I'm using the um, uh, OTG cable in this case to connect it now I'm not using the shorter OTG connectors because it's it's too short to make the run with this cable so I'm using this uh, because the connector is way up here um, for this but again uh, all seems to be working and again I've gone through the, all the functionality with this um, and it all seems to work and again it's it's pretty much comparable to my tab 3 or my other Android tablets so uh, Anyways, wanted to share this with you because, again, I think this is a great alternative, or at least so far seems to be. Now, I'm going to take it out in the field once it starts ra stops raining here. But I think, uh, in general, the fact is I found if it's going to run the application and everything and it binds with the copter, uh, you can see all my changes here happen between the controller. It's, it's, it's working. Now, I have also read on some of the DJI forums, you know, other people... Um, you know have also got this working but they've had to go through certain gyrations and and again a big part of this video is developing this web page on how to install this so also let me know in the comments below if you see any changes you need made to the page or something now uh, the other thing just before closing on this if you notice when you go to install the four Google Apps yes there's four Google Apps that you have to install the process is this rinse and repeat and you'll notice that in the instructions so that's why it's basically you know same thing same thing same thing you're just repeating the same thing four different applications four times and that's all it is um, so anyways hopefully this was handy I'm really excited about uh, using this and seeing how this actually works out in the field so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Maybe what you're thinking for lunch. Subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Don't forget I'll have the link to this page I've set up uh, down there. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.